Hi, my name is Melanie Klein. I'm a registered respiratory therapist and I work here at HRN. Today I want to go over 10 tips or 10 things that I bet you didn't know about your oxygen and oxygen safety. The first one, do not use petroleum jelly vapor rubs, or any other oil-based lotions like hairsprays, air freshener sprays. These products are often flammable, so no good around oxygen, right? Use water-based products instead. Say you have some like rubbing or some irritation, or maybe your nostrils are sore from the nasal cannula. Instead of grabbing that Vaseline, which is petroleum-based, no, 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 you want to grab maybe a AYR. It's a water-soluble nasal gel, and that won't hurt your oxygen. It plays nice, and you just put a drop in each nostril, and it should give you some relief from some of the soreness. Oxygen tanks, you gotta go out, maybe a doctor's appointment. Your oxygen tanks should never, ever be put in the trunk of your car. Put them in the back seat of your car, in the floor, laying flat, right? If it's a super, super hot day outside, 100 degrees, crack those windows just a little bit, just for ventilation. They can handle a lot of heat, but just for safety measures, just crack those windows just a little bit. Do not use hair dryers, curling irons, heating pads, electric razors while you're wearing your oxygen. If your oxygen's in your 90s, take them off for a few minutes, use your curling iron, and then put your oxygen back on when you're done. Never ever use an extension cord or a power strip to plug in your oxygen concentrator. That's a big no-no, okay? You wanna plug your oxygen concentrator into the wall socket by itself. Do not ever plug anything else in that socket with it. Only the concentrator plug should be in that socket. You should also alert the power company that you have oxygen. That way, if there's ever a power outage, you may get your lights on quicker. Cotton pajamas should be worn because they have a reduced chance of generating a spark. Keep the concentrator away from heaters, fireplaces, vents, electric blankets. We wanna stay away from things that get hot, right? Always know where your oxygen tubing is. This helps to prevent you from tripping or falling. If your oxygen tubing, say is, I don't know, 50 feet long, and you're looking around, it doesn't feel like you're getting any oxygen, and that's because you didn't know that it was kinked because it was caught on the couch as you turn the corner. So therefore, for the last two hours, you haven't been getting any oxygen. Always know where your oxygen tubing is and that everything is intact so that you're getting the therapy that you should be getting. Make sure you have a working smoking detector or smoke detector and fire extinguisher. Do not block or obstruct any of the vents. So you're, there's several different kinds of concentrators, but they all have vents or filters. So you wanna check and make sure that that filter isn't dirty. They might have the foam filters, they might have the spongy filters, they might have a filter that you have to have a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife to get out. But make sure you check and change those filters regularly. So again, you're getting your therapy. When you get your oxygen concentrator, you want to store it like 12 inches away from the wall. That needs to breathe. It needs to be ventilated. Never cover it with drapes or blanket or clothes. Keep it dusted off a little bit and just make sure you keep everything clean and nothing blocking or obstructing the flow. Do not use oxygen equipment near any open flames, obviously. You wanna maintain at least two meters away between your concentrator and any heat source, like say if you're at a bonfire or something like that, you need to be at least two meters away. For more tips and tricks, be sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.